so this is going to be chapter two for CSGO for dummies and today we're going to be going over some cash shit. So I'm going to start off with a, a strat that I like that I call in rank S pretty frequently. The first smoke that you need to know is this smoke that smokes top highway and to line this smoke up you see this cloud. The cloud is static so the cloud is always the same. You find this cloud right here. I guess it looks like it actually looks like someone's pointing a gun a little bit like pointing a gun. A little bit so you, you see this finger the index finger i guess we can call it just to the right of the index finger and you put your crosshair there and you hold your smoke and you run on this wall and then right as you get off of this wall and head in this direction you let go so you run on the wall to the right of the finger you run on the wall go off the wall and right as you go off the wall in this direction you throw it and this smoke's top power so it, it takes it takes a bit of practice, but it's it's actually very easy. So right of this finger on the wall, exit throw. So that's the top highway smoke that you're gonna need for this strat. The two other smokes that you need is crisscross smokes, which is very easy. You get into the middle of this wall, and um, basically you see these two windows. You wanna put your crosshair just to the left of the tip, and then same for this side, just to the right of the tip. And that'll give you crisscross smokes without any gaps. Very easy. So this is a T side strat that you can run. Uh, it can be in a pug. It can be for your team. It can be for any environment because I feel like this can work anywhere because it's very simple. So what you have happen is you have two people immediately run to the door and they just rush door right away. And then you have two people that are throwing these crisscross smokes right away. So these two people are throwing their crisscross smokes. And then one of them is going aim in. And their job is to just sit behind this box and hold. And then the other guy is running door. So now you'll have three door. And then these guys door basically want to walk around this point. But they won't have to walk for long. They're going to have to start running uh, almost immediately. The highway guy that's throwing this smoke. You want to throw this smoke just about... Right as you see this guy running to the door, almost right away you want to throw this smoke. So this smoke is being thrown. Down smoke. And then you are running to over here, your teammates in a main covering you. And your job is to literally just flash sight. For the door guys. So what happens is you throw a mid distraction right away and you have the crisscross smokes smoke. that keep them guessing smoke. about what's going on. Because they don't know if, if you ran out here, they don't know what is going on back here. And right as that second, this highway smoke is booming. And then, literally two seconds after, this sight flash is popping. So this A guy should be isolated. And if he isn't, at most, there'll be one guy fork and one guy sight. And it should be an easy trade. So this is basically a fast strat that you can run on the cash T side. I'm gonna fast sight for you guys. Let's try to watch the A main push. Yeah. Up to my bed. Oh, I have flash. Fuck. Flashing safe for you guys now. You take clear. Running for me. Cover me. Cover me. Come on, come here with me, maybe. Yeah. One more spawn. CT wall. So on T side, what else do I want to show you? All right, let me show you guys very basic B main control and how you can get into checkers and how you can make plays in this area. The the simple nades that you want to know how to throw is this B main smoke where you pull your mouse all the way down, you crouch right behind this yellow strip and you aim at the middle of this lamp and you walk forward two steps. Down smoke. So this is a B main smoke. And then, very simple to flush this opera out, because usually the opera will be here. That's the purpose of the smoke. And then once you throw that, they move over here. So in order to get that opera out of that angle, throw this molly. And then immediately after that, throw your molly, and then you can follow with a flash right away. So very simple B main control. Now while all that's going on, you can creep up behind this B main smoke. And this is when you have the option of either doing it by being sneaky and just walking in without making any noise, 
or you have the option of having your teammate flash you in if you feel like you might be playing checkered. Now, if you take the sneaky route, then you can walk in, clear this area, and um, vent is obviously something you have to worry about. So now you're in checkered. Now the enemy has an idea that you may be there, but he doesn't know for sure because he can't see what's going on behind the smoke. Uh, you can... Another thing you have to be worried about is back checkered, but sometimes you have to take risks and just assume maybe someone's not there and you can just creep out and try to kill this guy. Another way that is a bit more, I would say, a bit more sneaky, a bit more risky, you throw your B main smoke, you throw your molly, you throw your flash, and you walk out into your smoke, into this little pocket in the right, into snacks, and you try to work it picked that way and just walk across until you find some intel. Now this is a bit more risky because there's a chance that maybe there's an opera right here, maybe he's playing an angle like this, holding it, maybe he's over here, you never know. But there's a good chance you can catch someone off guard by doing this. Another way you can even do it, um, I've, I've seen people starting to do this as well, is walk out to the left. This, this is something you wanna do if you know there's an opera there, but um, you can walk out to the left like this. It's a bit more scrimmy, um, it depends on which way you want to take it. I think it depends on a lot of how the round is being played out. If you want to take another route, you can also, like a simple middle click, flash checkered, clear this angle together, and break the vent and boost vent, and right away try to surprise this guy mid, you know? Try to pop the vent and kill someone mid. I'll show you guys a reaction to how to beat this. Let's say there's a T, he's throwing all this shit. He's throwing his molly into checkered, I don't have a molly. Once you start to recognize that the other team is doing this B main control, and they're doing it frequently, and you have a good B spawn, so let's say you spawn here, you have an op, you run to upper, you drop, and in anticipation of this coming, immediately you fall into checkered, and you go right here, and you scope at this angle instead, and you hold like this. So you can be in their face like this, you kill the first one, and you jump away in their B main smoke. Can you play this round last game? Yeah, it's fine. Fine. I'm so glad. Nice that job. At A, all I would say at A, for A main, when you see this smoke, try... This is obviously like out aiming the enemy, but try to work around this smoke. And you can even boost in the left if you see an opening, if it's shallow. Boost in the left, try to pick someone quad. Otherwise, you can lurk around the smoke. Have your teammate smoke fork for you, and then have your other teammate molly fork in the door, and then try to just challenge site maybe, get flash into site. This is the kind of stuff I would do. It's very simple A takes, it's very effective. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys plays you can make on CT. So I'll start off with a couple of A main plays. This is a bit of an op that you can make. Uh, so one thing I like to do is when I go towards A, I'll throw a bad smoke that just bounces to the left. I don't have like a perfect one, but ideally you want it to land in this area. Usually a terrorist that sees that is thinking, oh, they fucked up their A main smoke. I'm gonna try to walk up, maybe go for a pick. And what you do is when you throw that smoke, you wanna option, it's optional, but you wanna have your teammate standing here with a pop flash for when you shoot. Just make sure you get your smoke deep enough back there where it looks like it's fucked up, but you can also abuse it. So you would get into this nook in the right, and then you jump up, and you're scoped, and you peek the back like this. Um, so if there's an offer back there, there's a chance they'll kill you, but hopefully when you get there, it's either an AK walking up, or an AK holding back there. So just right away jump up, hold the angle, and just try to kill them like this. Um, so like I said, they're not going to expect you to necessarily peek that angle, and also, if you do have this guy holding a flash for you, it's easy for you to get out if you take a shot. Just tell your teammate to flash right as you shoot, and it's a good way to go for a pick aim in. Uh, another way you can use this aim in smoke is by using this one way behind it. You throw your aim in smoke, you get right behind it, and you jump on top of this box, and get on top of this one, and you have a little one way created for you. You even have the option of just shaving to the left, uh, and you can do this with a rifle, it doesn't have to do it on op. Uh, shaving to the left and killing him like that. Okay, I have no yeah. no more. Come on. Come on. Up Actually, no, 
And R? Prep their money, boys. Uh, another play you can make at A is going for the store pick. So there's two ways that you can do that. Uh, one way you can go for the store pick is the the way that a lot of people do it is just open the door and scope up right here and wait and then maybe go wider after a couple of seconds uh, ideally you want to do this with an op uh, another way that you can go for the store pick is very often people come door and flash this angle on their flash you peek so you wait for their flash to explode then you peek or you wait for their footsteps so if you're playing in the SCA pug and you want to be fucking super cheap, you can't get a kill all half and you can't do anything, nothing's working and you need to pull something out of your butt, you're on CT side cash, you're down fucking 7-0, this is what you do. You have your teammate with the best spawn and you tell him to smoke mid-main, you tell him to molly, and you get boosted in that molly and you run through that shit and flank him in. If you're feeling like you want to fake this up, bitch, while you're running up, you drop a flash in there, jump up, they think you're sub bitching, but in reality, you're fucking sub flanking, dog. Okay, let me show you guys, let me show you guys two eco round strats. So, eco strat number one requires one flash. Both, both eco strats require one flash. You want to have all your teammates run truck into highway, and you want to have them all line up on this wall, basically, and sit there. So, you tell your team, hey, everyone go highway from truck and wait there and what you do is you come here with a flash and you tell them to tell you when to flash mid because it's an eco round the enemy is probably going to come out mid they're going to chase ecos and you can catch them off guard so the second they hear someone you pop this flash everyone at mid's blinds you guys all swing you kill two you get an m4 you win the round eco strat number two you have two motherfuckers come over here to fork. They sit here. You get on this wall. They have P250s. When they hear aim in, you pop aim in. Motherfuckers are blind. Easy P250 go. You got an op. You win the round. Alright, I think we're going to leave it at that though. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, will see you next time. Peace out. So tell me you got it right now. Oh, you got it right now. Tell me you got it right now